<laughs> What's well, good, guys? Hey. It's Craig and Annie, and we're the Baldwin. The Baldwins! Baby. What? You do this every time. Because you don't have the stream. Okay, I'm sorry. You just say the Baldwins. Okay, sounds good. Anyways, we're back with another video. And before we do anything else, we just want to encourage you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Also, we reached 100 subscribers finally. Um, we haven't been as consistent as we should have been, but we finally reached 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for these subscriptions. Please share with somebody else. What's good, family? It's hey the Baldwin's Craig and Annie. Yes. You didn't do it. <laughs> she usually does. Do it's to? the Baldwin's. No, okay, okay. I don't okay. want you to. I'll make him happy this time, guys. Thank you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the best wife in the world. Literally. Aww. So, yes. All right. So, as you guys can see with the title, well, actually, before we do that, I want you guys to make sure if you're watching this right now, if you haven't already, to make sure you click that subscribe button mm -hmm. and turn on the post notifications. Please, 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 and thank you. We finally reached 100 subscribers, so thank you. The first 100 people to subscribe for us, we thank you guys. And then um, for the next 100, we thank you guys even more. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we probably do some little surprise for like, the 200 subscribers or something like that that'd be really cool that'd be really cool but we'll talk about it later nevertheless <laughs> as you can see from the top the uh the title we want to give you tips on bible study mm -hmm. so we're gonna get straight into it we're not gonna press yes. it because we don't want this to be a super crazy long video tip number uno materiales materials materials no. so materials quick 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 we got three quick bibles right here that we want to show you guys and you don't have to get all of them, but we recommend getting at least one of them. Mm -hmm. And the first one, if we had to recommend the best out of the three, we would recommend getting a parallel Bible. I bought this for my wife um, on your birthday, mm -hmm. for her birthday. And it has the NIV, NLT, King James, New King James, uh, and the message translation. So it's like, it's easy to look at. I'm going to show you guys the page. So you have... The same scripture, but it's worded differently, and someone might understand the NLT better than the New King James Version. Or the the message kind of breaks it down to even a more depth than just the other version. So mm -hmm. that gives you guys some insight about that. And it's really cool to compare the words used. Yeah. So that, and then we recommend a journal Bible. This is a Bible that she clearly had for a while. It's you know a little older. And the beautiful thing about it is that as you turn it open, you can see where it has margins on the side where you can journal in, which is extremely helpful for, like she said, when a word sticks out to you or you have a question or you have a prayer request, you can put it down on the journal side. Mm -hmm. And that's really beautiful. And then the last one I would recommend is the study Bible. Yeah. King James Study Bible, New King James Study Bible, NIV, whatever. I don't think the, the version necessarily matters, but the beautiful thing about a study Bible, it gives you more cultural understanding. So when you're reading a particular scripture, it gives you more insight about what was going on in that day and time. It gives like, so for example, if you read like the book of Romans, it'll tell you more about the Roman Empire and tell you more about the different things that were happening and persecution to Christians that the scripture necessarily don't go into, but it goes into depth about that. Yeah. So you're, you learn about the background of a whole bunch of different things. And what's really, really cool about that Bible too, is that it cross references different scriptures that yeah. line together. So you can literally look at Isaiah where it talks yeah. about until a child is born, you know, they shall call him Emmanuel. And then you look at Jesus where in the new Testament, where Mary is, um, having a son he said you shall call him Emmanuel this was to fulfill the words of the prophet mm -hmm. that said uh, the uh, the virgin will give birth to a child called Emmanuel yeah right so it like literally specifies where verses exactly. go together and the historic context 
like he said, is it it's explained and it's yeah. revealed. Like it's literally really before you start reading a chapter, it explains everything that was going on in society and culture, who the person was, where they were written. Like yeah. every little thing, it, there's maps, there's um, like everything is broken up. Like it's really It's amazing. really dope. It's yes. Really so along with that, we also recommend if you don't get the journal Bible to get you a personal journal, that you can write your prayers down, that you can write your uh, questions down, or you can write things that highlight to you down. Mm -hmm. And also get highlighters. Highlighters are very essential and pens. So when you feel like you found something that just stick out to you, highlight it. And if you, you're somebody like me, I like to underline and mm -hmm. circle things. So I think that's really helpful when it comes to studying because it, it makes it more, um, in depth to where when you see a word, you won't forget about it because it's already highlighted or circled. Then you can search it up in your phone. Hey, what does this word mean? What does this word mean in Hebrew? What does this word mean in Greek? What does this word mean in this Latin or different things like that? So yeah. that's that. Now on to tip number two. Mm -hmm. Number two is um, why are you studying? So people study for different reasons. One reason that most people study for is to grow closer to God. That's most Christians' relationship. Like we, the Bible says that uh, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You know what I'm saying? And the Bible says that if we abide in Jesus, he abide in us. If we abide in his word, he abide, the word abides in us. So we have to dwell in the word to get a better understanding of Jesus' character, to get a better understanding of who he is as a person and, and as a God even. So I would say if the reason for, uh, that's one reason for studying, to grow closer in the word, learn more about the word. Another way, another reason for studying is for memorization. You know, memorization is important for like evangelism or for ministers or for people, uh, what, what do they call those people who like come back to faith? Um, uh, like, so you have people that, come back to faith like so somebody else oh. uh, will come against apologetics yes. you're, you're like apologetics you so go. that would memorization would be really good for that because you'll have to learn and come back the scripture with people that probably come against the faith mm -hmm. and then also just for personal reciting you might want to teach your kids or you might want to teach your family and having memoriz uh, memorization is a good reason for that and then the third reason I feel like a lot of people study is for ministers. So they study to be able to teach the word of God or they study to be able to preach the word of God. So I was just going to say it's really, really important to know why you're studying the word of God because it you come in with a goal. So if you're yeah. going into just like um, to just memorize, it's easy to, hey, like, I just got to look for a verse, let the Lord lead me to a verse and read it, read it, read it, read it over and over and over. But if you're going to um, just gain more intimacy with the Lord and and just be um, there with Jesus and learn more about Jesus, you're not necessarily stuck on the same verse all the time, but it's more, you're just more open. You're like more open and not necessarily very strict on yourself because you're just learning more about Jesus throughout the whole thing. And um, you're, it's just really important to have a goal, like super important. Number three, how to study. So, and kind of already said it, you know, in the why, basically saying, that if you're studying for memorization, basically you pick out one scripture and you read that scripture and you listen to that scripture or you write it down on a journal. You know how in school when you get in trouble and they'll like have you, I will not talk in class and you'll write that down a hundred times on a piece of paper on every single line. That's what we can do with scripture. So you'll write down, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Write that down a million times, like, no, I don't say a million, but a hundred times and read it every time you write it down. And that helps with memorization because mm -hmm. the more something is repeated to you, the more you memorize it. For just growing closer to If you're just starting off, like in the walk of faith or just learning how to read the Bible, um, a lot of people just start in the gospels. Like, um, or even start with Genesis, the first book, and then go to the Gospels, yeah. um, which is a really cool thing too. So don't necessarily be really hard on yourself on hearing exactly what page to open to or what book to yeah. go to, but just be, um, just be again goal oriented and be like, Lord, I just want to go closer to you and see you and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing would be studying for uh, preachers, and this is where the Bible talks about. Um, 
of being a good worksmanship, like having good worksmanship, uh, study to show that self approved, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know, um, and that's saying that as a minister, it's our obligation to dissect the word so that it's kind of like how a mom, you know, she has this big old steak or this big old chicken and she has little kids that can't necessarily chew on a big piece of steak. So that mom is in control of chopping up that um, steak or that chicken to small little pieces so that the baby could digest it or so that the little kid can digest it. Yeah. That's what ministers are supposed to do. So when we study scripture, we have to break down the context of what it's coming from and have revelation of what God is applying for the now. So the way to do that is obviously to search up the um, the cultural background of the scripture, search up the you know the the relevancy of the the uh, geographical location and all those different things, so that when you break down the scripture, you understand where it's deriving from, but also what it implying now. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say. Yeah, and it, and everything too is like commentary too. Commentary is kind of. Here oh, and there, okay. though, you know, because but... commentary would be super weird. <laughs> we just read a commentary video earlier today where we was talking about John 13 and John then in the bosom of Jesus, and somebody had a commentary saying that John and Jesus was lovers. So, commentary okay, is kind of tricky, you know, <laughs> it's got it, it gives you different perspective yes. for sure. But I would, I personally would say. Don't read too many commentaries because they can confuse you. It'll make you thinking like, this person says this, this person says that, which is true. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, there's just different revelations in different time periods and different yeah. people for different seasons, you know? And it all could be, it, it all could be relevant in that same time, but for someone different, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. So that's what I would say. Anyways, this video is super long once again and we did not try to make it this long but nevertheless we love you guys from the bottom of our jesus died for shirts well no it's more so in the middle our heart like right right yeah so for you guys that don't know this is our merch y'all go shop abcd merch we're gonna drop the link below nevertheless y'all like comment subscribe yes uh hit post notification and we'll see y'all soon we love you guys Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs>